each building, each park, each street as its own place. If I were the tallest building, I don't need to be the brightest one. It's not about yourself, it's about the whole community. We don't work just for ourselves, and projectors don't exist for their own sake. Our ultimate goal is enabling our users to enjoy the most authentic home cinema experience. When we first decided to make projectors, a lot of people inside and outside the company doubted us, but it only made us more determined to succeed. Each home cinema projector combines mechanical, electronic, and optical components. Any one part on its own isn't so difficult, but putting them all together to achieve harmony and precision and get the best performance out of the DLP unit that's the real challenge. Current DLP technology can provide 8.3 million individually addressable pixels. This allows us to make a true 4K UHD projector, but the real-time data flow required for 4K is four times that of full HD, so we carefully select more powerful processors. On the optical end, the light rays are one quarter the size of those in Full HD. As image resolution increases, so does the precision required of the projector. DLP chips are off the shelf. There's only one supplier. Anyone can buy them. The real difference is whether or not you have the ability to make a great optical engine. With over 20 years of experience, we can distribute manufacturing tolerance so it doesn't affect key functions. Optical performance stays extremely stable and precise, and even the highest resolution media displays accurately. Each new projector's optical engine is custom designed. We don't buy off-the-shelf lenses. We insist on creating new lens sets for each projector design. We use 14 lenses, including specially made aspheric lenses with low color dispersion coating, specifically designed to handle 4K images. Creating our own lens sets isn't easy or cheap, but we think it's worth it. We need to protect this investment. If the projector gets too hot, a processor could malfunction and parts could warp. We choose heat resistant materials, design paths for heat dissipation, and use the best airflow design to control temperature. This ensures smooth, precise operation and the highest possible light efficiency. Sometimes, when they hit a roadblock while adjusting the optical engine, our engineers say, I wish I could become a ray of light and just go find the problem. They know that fixing every bug is critical. A good optical engine provides more room for expression when it comes to color. It's like sending support to the front lines. When you trust yourself, you need not to shy, you need not to fake, you do not need to change your true face to face the world. We believe in pursuing the beauty of an authentic cinematic image. To reach this goal, all elements must make the grade and work in perfect harmony. Some people think a high lumens rating means it's a good projector. Is brightness the key to getting the best image? It turns out the ideal brightness range for cinema is 12 to 22 foot Lamberts, according to the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers. Even at a 150-inch projection size, the lumens rating of our projectors is more than enough to achieve ideal brightness. We believe in producing the best cinematic image, 
and that takes precise calibration of all elements, starting with the color source. DLP technology uses a color wheel to generate color. The quality and accuracy of the color wheel is absolutely crucial. It's extremely important to control manufacturing variants. The color wheel has a huge effect on image quality. So we do QC inspections and reject any that don't make the grade. Sometimes I even take measurement tools to the factory and inspect them myself. This isn't required, but since color is my job, I want to be sure that the finished product is exactly as designed. Only then can we provide true and authentic color. Brightness is important, but it's just one aspect. Early on, we decided to pursue a true, accurate image. It takes the ideal balance of brightness, contrast, and color accuracy to get us there, but we're confident we chose the right path. About Statue of Liberty, at that time, I was the design director how to shoot the green color at night time to be able to feel three-dimensional. We had to ask GE to create two new lamps. Each one has different color temperature. Each location it has about maybe 10 to 12 fixtures. People, when they look at Stage Liberty, they say, oh, it's very nice, beautiful. Why should they know where the light come from? The rest is not for us to see. It's only technique. We want our users to focus on the film, not on our effort and innovation. Our challenge is how to bring the projector out of the easily controlled dark room environment and make it able to adapt to anyone's home. During the design process, we keep users' needs at the forefront of our minds. We do a lot of preliminary research and interviews with users and professional installers. So the most unexpected part of our user research is that our users really care about the intangible factors of the projector. So they care about ease of installation and how easy it is to adjust the lens and how loud the noise levels are. These factors are really important to them. We ran airflow simulations and developed an exclusive air duct design. Cooling system noise can be kept to 20 decibels, as quiet as the wind rustling a few leaves. Our lens system has a true zoom function that prevents distortion and helps maintain sharp, clean edges. There's more space for cables and commonly used controls are easily accessible. Of course, specifications and performance are the most important parts of the projector. But when the movie's over and the lights go on, you also really want the exterior to complement the space. Winning the IF and Red Dot Design Awards really shows how hard our team works, and we actually frequently win design awards. But what we really care about is how users experience the projector and that they can enjoy films at home together. The light itself is not for the solo purpose of others to see. It goes right down to your heart. We just wanted to be able to feel the buildings, the trees, the sky. That's the real thing. Through projected light, viewers embark on a shared journey together. Stories told in light and sound create a dialogue with the human spirit. The magic and enchantment of cinema. This is what inspires us to pursue the highest standard of craftsmanship, day in and day out. We also ask, is the moon bright and beautiful today? We seldom ask, is the moonlight beautiful or not today? <laughs>